Okay, so I get the question, how hard is pharmacy school? And uh, really what we're talking about is uh, pre-pharmacy. And instead of looking at how hard is pharmacy school across the country, what you really want to look at is how hard is it to get into the pharmacy schools that I want to get into. And I only had one school that I wanted to get into. If I didn't get into that one, then I would have finished my uh, chemistry degree uh, that I was working on uh, at Maryland. And I was in Maryland. I was uh, sure that this is where I wanted to go. And I believe that overall, when you're talking about admissions, you should be thinking about persistence, not perfection. Um, although I did get a perfect score on the PCAT, uh, I can tell you that I took Calculus 1 three times, Calculus 2 two times. Uh, I withdrew and took Biology 1 again. I took Physics 1 twice, and I took Organic 2 twice. So the first kind of take home is that it's about persistence. If you demonstrate persistence and, and a much higher GPA on the front end, on the, on the end going towards pharmacy school, or that uh, you really care about the profession, that's the first thing. The second thing is that I don't think that most people apply to enough schools. Um, I think that uh, you should uh, realize this is going to be three, four uh, years of your life, maybe six if you're doing a zero to six. And I think that you should look regionally uh, and actually go to the schools. I know that it's expensive. I know that applications are expensive, but um, it's a, a lot of time that you're going to be spending. And the issue you have, and I was a realtor for a while, so this actually really makes a lot of sense, is something called buyer's remorse. So you're going to get the acceptance, you're going to uh, get into school, and then you're going to say, is this the school I really wanted to get into? And then is pharmacy what I wanted? And it's weird, this, this uh, doubt creeps into your mind. Um, and maybe a little bit of fear. But if you've gone to a number of schools, you've looked at a number of programs, you can compare them and you maybe have multiple offers, then you're going to feel a lot more confident. In general, uh, as humans, if we have only one choice, um, we feel very uncomfortable making that decision. Um, we'll, if we just uh, look at that, we'll, and if we're looking at something that's maybe a product, uh, we're much less likely to buy something if we have one decision. So you always want to have at least two or three decisions because by nature we like to compare and that comparison is what makes you confident in your choice. But uh, back to the original question which was uh, how hard is it to get into pharmacy school? I think it's fair. I think um, the average GPA if you want to look nationally is somewhere between 3, three and 3.4 three, uh, and then uh, the average PCAT around 70, 75. But these are averages every single uh, uh, case is different. I was an in-state student with a 3.0 exactly and a perfect PCAT score. And I can't really judge the interview. I can't judge my own interview. But the more that you do, uh, the more that you prepare, um, the better off you are. But I'm happy to answer questions uh, individually in the, in the comment section.